Hi there. In this video, we will see one of the most basic JavaScript function to display the current date. There are multiple ways to do it. In this video, we will see ES6 approach using JavaScript. So this is the expected output. This is month February. This is the day 4th of February 2022. So let's get started with the code. So we need to declare a JavaScript date object. So how can we do that? We can start writing code like let today is equal to new date. Okay. And this date object has multiple methods. The first one is get date. So today dot get date this will return the current date it will consolidate later the next one is month current month is equal to today dot get month plus one because javascript returns month from zero so to get the current month we need to make it plus one okay the next one is year we need to use constant because it will not change for now. Constant year y y y y variable name is equal to today object dot get full year. It will return the current year. Let's see. Let me console all three variables. The date. Let me console month. It and ignore this and as you can see the February 4th 2022 so this is what we want but we need to make it in better formatting for that we need to write down few if conditions the first one is we will check if current date is less than 10 then we will append date with zero and using template literal zero and the variable in curly braces okay and let's just console to see if it is working so as you can see this is zero four but in string so why this is in string we will see it later the next one is if current month is less than 10 then again month is equal to template literal string 0 dollar and in brackets month can format the string today is equal to in template literal string dollar current month dash dollar current day the current date and dollar current year let me just console and see as you can see, the second is the month, fourth is a day, and 2022 is a year. So this is working fine. We can format it as we want. We can switch the month and date as well as we can simply copy and paste. We can add slash as well. And let's see how it looks. So this is another format and we can always switch month and date dd month and year let me comment it out so we can see so this is date month and year and same the slash format 
okay so this is what we expected okay so this is the very basic javascript program to get the current date here we need to note that declaring a javascript date object are based on the time value that is the number of milliseconds since 1st january 1970 utc so so using that javascript date object today right the get date method is used to get the day of the month for the specified date according to your local time the value written by get date is an integer between 1 and 31 same the get month so the get month method returns the month in the specified date according to your local time as a zero based value where zero indicates the first month of the year the value written by get month is an integer between 0 and 11 0 correspond to january 1 february and so on and in the same manner get full year that method is used to get the year of the specified date according to your local time the value written by the method is an absolute number for dates between the year 1000 and 9999 get full year returns a four digit number example 1980 is the example so this was a very basic javascript program to get the current date and hope you enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and see you next time around thank you